Yesterday, I went to Walmart. <laughs> surprise, surprise. These are really like high quality, nice looking. Cheers. 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 Oh my God. Cheers. Cheers. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always. Today I am super excited because I'm gonna be doing another Walmart try on shoe haul for y'all. And I think I'm more excited about this set of shoes more than I was the last set of shoes, if that's even possible. <laughs> I don't even know how it's possible. But I picked up six pairs of shoes yesterday when I went trolling around Walmart and I got them for around about $100. So six pairs for $100, that ain't bad. And I was able to pick up a wide variety of shoes. So I have like dress shoes, casual shoes, fancy shoes, not so fancy shoes, boat shoes, and one unconventional pair of shoes that I think y'all might be interested in. So if y'all are wanting to see this Walmart shoe try on haul, then please keep on watching. So the first pair that I picked up are from the brand Time and True, and this is what they look like. And I am in love with these wedges. They're like a really high wedge with an espadrille textile. And I have to say, I am super impressed with the quality of these shoes. I purchased some um, espadrilles from Amazon. I probably filmed a video on it. If I did, I'll link it up here. But the textile on these espadrilles is amazing. This area right here is like this khaki woven material. It looks so high quality. I mean, it is so high quality. And the faux leather is just a really unique, like a burnt, sienna type of leather and it just looks so pretty i'm really impressed with these i picked these up in a size eight normally i do wear a size nine so i was able to size down a full size with these but only because i thought they made my foot look a little better and they were still really comfortable to wear you know it just makes your foot look a little bit smaller a little bit more dainty but this is what the front looks like so it's got this faux leather strap that goes around the front of the foot it has the faux leather that goes all the way up into the heel area right here. And then whenever you turn them around, it has the seam. Can you see that? It has the seam that goes all the way down. And then it has a strap that wraps around the, your ankle. Now, a lot of people don't like this like detail, the, the strap that wraps around the ankle. So you can easily cut these right here and not be able to tell a difference. You could probably like burn it with a lighter or something like that. Just be really careful if you do and it will be fine but i really like this detail and the buckle is a nice high quality buckle it's nice and gold really pretty and these look amazing on if you turn them over to the bottom this is what the bottom looks like so it has a little bit of a mini heel right here and it's got a little bit of grip so i would still be careful with these if you're walking on slick surfaces still be careful walking but i am just I love these. So the second pair that I picked up are from the brand Big Buddha and this is what they look like. They're really really pretty like a yellowy mustard color and I bought these to go with lots of different outfits that I have that has little accents of yellow. What I really like about these is the cork detail. So it has like this molded cork sole that really kind of hugs your feet. It doesn't like slip and slide. You can wear these out. You can wear these on a boat. You can wear these so many different places. You can dress them up, dress them down. And then it has the textile that goes around, very similar to the other style that I showed you a few minutes ago, but not quite the same. The braiding is a little bit different and it's still high quality. It looks really, really nice. I paid $19.97 for these and I also purchased these in a size eight. So the size nine just looked a little bit too big, a little bit too like skis, if you know what I'm talking about, just too long. So I purchased the size eight and these look very nice. I mean, let me, let me just be real with you for a minute. These are not a sexy shoe. <laughs> these are the type of shoes that's gonna make you look like the Flintstones. And I, <laughs> I mean that in the best kind of way. They're just kind of clunky and funky, a little bit, I don't know, hippy dippy, if you know what I'm talking about. So they're not gonna have like the movement and the sex appeal that a lot of the wedges do when they like lift you up and it's like heel. These are like almost very flat and clunky so i mean you're gonna be walking around like a caveman so apart from that the buckle on the like ankle area is a nice high quality like a gunmetal gray it's nice and heavy and substantial so it adds a little bit of expense 
to the shoe. It makes it look really nice. They're a little bit flexible. They have some elastic that goes right here. And I really like these shoes. It has elastic also on this little edge here. So they're going to kind of move with your feet, but they're going to look a little clunky. And I mean, that's the appeal of the shoe. The next pair that I picked up is probably my absolute favorite Walmart shoe of all time. And they're a men's shoe. And this is what they look like. This is the coolest pair of shoes I think I've ever seen. High end, low end, you name it. I love these shoes. They're kind of like tennis shoes. So the material is like a very meshy, like tennis shoe material, but they are in the style of an Oxford. So I don't know if you can tell the detail on the front. It has like the little Oxford M. It's got this like Oxford uh, lace detail. And on the back side, it has the faux cognac leather. Oh my goodness. These are unbelievable quality it's from the brand George and which is a men's brand and these were a little bit more expensive these were $27.92 worth every penny so if you look at the shoe head on it has like this cork detail that goes all the way around the edge of the shoe very much like an expensive pair of Oxfords and it has these seams that go all the way around in a contrasting color then on the bottom, which is just so damn cute, the bottom is a plain rubber sole and you can see it from the side and it just looks so cool. I love the way these look on. Whenever you look on the inside, this is what the insole looks like and it's just a, a plain memory foam insole, nothing very fancy schmancy. Um, so if you want to be honest, you're probably going to have to replace this insole at some point, but to me is worth it. These shoes are worth it. They're so adorable. I love the style. And when I saw these, they just called to me. I had to have them. This is my jam and yeah, like them a lot. The next pair that I picked up are from the brand Big Buddha. And this is what they look like. And I just love the silhouette of these shoes. They are so cute, so on trend right now. And the details of these shoes make them 100% worth it. These were $23.44, a little bit more pricey for Walmart brands, if you want to be honest, but it's got so many like intricate little details on these and I'm going to show you in just a second. For one thing, the color, I love the color. It's a little bit more of a true cognac than the other pair that I showed y'all. This is like a really true brown, a warm, nice brown that would just pair so well with jeans, skirts, shorts, denim shorts, uh, yes indeed. If you look up close, it has lots of different details. So it has braiding that goes across the like top of the foot here. It's got braiding that goes across here and it also has braiding that goes across the toe bed. And it's got lots of different cutouts, lots of different shapes. So it has like triangles right here and it's got like uh, pentagons that go around here and then triangles around here. These are just really, really well thought out, cute shoes, and I like everything about them, to be honest. When you switch these around, this is what the other side looks like, and it's got a really nice ankle strap that goes around the back of your ankle, and the buckle is super, super cute. So it's not the traditional, like, square buckle that we've been seeing a lot lately. It's like this circular, like, oil, what's it called, oil brushed bronze or something, and it's a nice substantial buckle. Very, very nice. It doesn't have the little cheap piece right here that you have to like tuck it into and worry about all that. And then on the inside here, it's got some elastic. So it's going to stretch and hug your ankle without causing you a blister. These are adorable. You switch it to the back. This is what the heel looks like. And I don't know what you call this, like a wooden heel or something. So it's probably about a three inch heel. Uh, very reasonable if you are kind of finicky with heels. One thing I will say though, these don't have a lot of cushion. So these are probably going to be a short run shoe if you know what I'm talking about. You're not going to be wearing these all day long walking through malls and type of that type of thing because there is really not a lot of cushion here. So it's very, very flat. And yeah, these are more like fancy for the moment shoes. I'm wearing these and I'm going to go sit down somewhere. So the second to last pair that I picked up are from the brand Time and True and these are a repurchase. So I purchased these in black and I wanted to get this really pretty like a dusty pinky peach color. And I love these shoes. They're very, very comfortable, good knock around shoes, go to the grocery store type of shoes. And the really good thing about these is they don't make my feet sweat so much because they have lots of air circulation. They have these little eyelet holes that go all the way around the side here. 
And yeah, they keep my sweaty ass feet from slipping and sliding around so much. I paid uh, $14.88. These are also a size nine. So these run very true to size. And I really like the way these look. They have like kind of a brushed leather. It's not quite a suede, but it's not a shiny leather either. They just look really nice, very high quality. Easy to slip on and off. Shoes that you don't have to wear socks with, which I cannot stand wearing socks. I don't know why. My feet are so sweaty, but I don't like to wear socks. When you go on the inside, this is what the insole looks like. So it's really, really squishy. I don't know why they put the tag right here because that's going to annoy me. <laughs> I don't know. I like have sensitive feet when it comes to like tags and things that are sticking out and like right underneath my foot. That's going to annoy me. So I'm probably going to cut that out. But anyway, this is what they look like. Very true to size, very cute shoes, very casual, and I love them. So the final pair of shoes that I picked up are from the brand Time and True, and they are this really cute, very simple sneaker. And what drew me into these was they reminded me very much of the K-Swiss style from the 80s and 90s. So, I mean, it's not exactly like K-Swiss, but I thought they, they were really, really cute. These are $12.88. I bought these in a, in a size nine, so they do run tr true to size. But let me just tell you, the quality is not the best in these. I don't expect these to last a very long time, maybe a couple months at the most before like seams start popping and things. They're just not the best quality shoe in the world. And I'm not really expecting them to last, so it's not really a big deal. But I did like the details. I like this like silver, uh, chrome detail in the back. It just adds a little element of interest to the shoe and the insole is super, super cute. So it's like super glittery, almost like a holographic insole and it is memory foam. So these are very comfortable. Yeah, these don't have a whole lot of bells and whistles. They're just very plain Jane and I thought they'd be cute with some denim shorts and that that type of thing. So whenever you flip these over, this is what the bottom part looks like. So it's got a really nice rubber sole, lots of grip if you can hear that. So it's going to keep you from slipping and sliding around. Uh, just keep in mind that they're not meant to last very, very long. Some things from Walmart will last, some things from Walmart will not. And this is definitely one that's not going to last. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this Walmart shoe try on haul. I hope y'all found it informative and educational and fun. If you did, if you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, I'm going to include all the links to all the shoes down in the description box below. This video was not sponsored at all. I just bought these with my own money yesterday from my own bank account, so don't worry. Um, I will be including the links though below and some of them will be affiliate links which just means that I'll receive a very, very small percentage of the sale. If you choose to buy, you're not under any obligation to do so whatsoever. It just helps your girl out. You know what I'm saying? So once again, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. And I'll be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye. Some shit. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.